This is Najee with Minnesota Fan TV. Who am I here with? I'm Joey. I'm Easton. Explain to me how you guys are feeling about what just happened. You know, I, I came into the game. I was feeling good. I was like, you know what? We got it this year. And then guess what happens, you know? Frauds every year. Once again, frauds. Heartbreak. I walk outside, you know what I smell? Cigarettes and heartbreak. And it doesn't make me feel good. It makes me want to hate the Vikings, but I can't because I'm from Minnesota. I don't know what to do. Uh, what, what do you think? I don't know what to do. Let it all up, man. I don't know what to do. You know, man, honestly, like, I don't have a lot, whole lot to say. You know, um, just disappointment. You know? No words can describe what just happened on the field. No words. No words. No words. It's, it's unbelievable, man. You know, I was first ever Vikings game. I buy my tickets. I'm like, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. I get in. I'm watching. I'm having a good time. Then just shit, all shit breaks loose. And now look at me. I'm on the street, disappointed. I'm sad. You got a you got a Giants guy right there. Doesn't even know what's going on. But I know what's going on. The Vikings need to fix it. I can't take it anymore, man. Can't take it. Skull! <laughs> can't take it. That's all I got to say. Yeah. Is there anything you want to see differently with our team next year going forward? Definitely the defense. The defense needs to change. We need to, we need to get gritty. We need to get after it. We need to fucking get all hands on deck next year, all right? We ain't playing around anymore. We ain't playing around. This is Najib with MN Fan TV. Who am I here with? Fozzy, how y'all doing? Because I ain't doing good. What did you think about that game, Fozzy? Fucking terrible. It's fucking terrible. There's a lot of fucking things that were fucking mistaken and wrong. Fuck Ed Donatel. We need to fucking fire that nigga. You defensive coordinator, defensive coordinator. We let Danny Dimes do that to us. Okay, you got Saquon running the ball on us. These drags and slant routes we can't cover. We got Patrick Peterson slow as fuck. What the fuck is going on? This happens every year. Minnesota Viking fans, wake up. We're never going to fucking win. We can have a fucking great season and shit does not fucking work. What is going on? I'm fucking I'm mad. Are we not fucking mad? Shit, this fucking sucks, man. Like, what do you want? What do, come on, man. I understand you, man. I've been living in this state for a really long time. I went through a lot of heartbreak as Understandable. well. Understandable. As well. What would you like to see different going forward with the Vikings? Because the season's over now. Season's, season's over. Do season's fucking over. Yeah, it's over once again every fucking year. What I want to see happen with the Minnesota Vikings is they fucking, first of all, get rid of Ed Donatel, hire somebody else. I'm not going to lie. I like KOC. He's a smart guy. You know, he does some fucking trick, tricks out under his sleeve and shit. But either way, we need a new defense coordinator. We need to strengthen the defense. We need to add some people in free agency that's going to make this defense a, a defense that it needs to fucking be. Defense wins championships. Does it not? Defense does wins defense championships. Defense wins fucking champions. Don't get me wrong. I love Kirk, but what the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are, fourth and eight, what the fuck are you doing throwing it that short? Like, are you fucking dumb? Like, I fuck, bro. Like, it pisses me off. It really does. Like, so I want I want those changes. Kirk, I'm gonna be honest, you're a good quarterback. I don't mind if you sit on the bank, on the bench, make a paycheck. I ain't gonna lie. We need a better quarterback than you. It's, it's true, it's true. I'm gonna be honest, I'm, I'm ripping the shirt. I'm done, I'm, I'm done. done. You're done with the, the, the shirt? Are you done with the bike? I can't, I can't even. Fuck that shit! Yeah. Fuck that shit! Yeah. I'm done with the Vikings! I'm done! Find me a new fucking team! I'm just kidding. But still, we need to fucking we need we need to turn this shit around next year and this shit needs to fucking change. Cause I, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. Are you not? I'm very I'm very tired of it. Fuck. Very, very well, what tired. What can we do? These we're fucking we're heartbreak heartbroken. Once again. You see the fucking Minneapolis miracle? Oh yeah, everybody's woo, and then the fucking you know Saints come around, woo. Then what? You know? I understand. I feel you, man. I feel oh, you, man. Bro. Thank you for your time, Fozzy. I appreciate it, man. No problem. Minnesota Fan TV. This is Najib with MN Fan TV. Who am I here with? Uh, Sean. We have a Giants fan here. Okay, I want to know how you're feeling after that game, after our heartbreak. Give me the mic. So, here, Vegas had us predicted to win six games. Daniel Jones is garbage, or so people say. Brian Dable, who the fuck is Brian Dable? We fucking had nine wins ah, into the fuck season. Fuck that shit, fuck this guy. All good, all good, all good. We had nine wins, we beat a 13-win fucking team. Think about that, just think about that. 
Who was the opposing quarterback? Kirk Cousins. This is the exactly what matchup we wanted. This is exactly who we wanted to see in the playoffs. And the Vikings just Viking. I'm sorry. Great fan base. I love the Viking fan base, but well, you got it is what it is. Yeah, we got lucky. All good, all good. But I don't know what to say. I don't know How do you say. feel about Philly next week? Here's the thing. Teams that have a bye week going into the playoffs, they're always a little bit rusty, and Jalen Hurts isn't completely healthy. So I wouldn't be surprised if Philly won, but I like our chances. I think this is like a 08 fucking Giants Super Bowl run. And call me delusional, call me crazy, but yeah. This is Najiba MN Fan TV. Who am I here with? I'm here, Rius. Rius, Rius. Tell me how you're feeling about what just happened in that game. Kind of what Will said, just not the best effort by the Vikings overall. They couldn't get a stop to save their fucking life on defense. Daniel, Danny Dimes ran all over us in the first half and it sucked. It was brutal. Man, our defense, as you just said, our defense has a lot of issues. It's lacking a lot. What would you like to see differently our defense do for next season? You know, fuck, that's a tough one. I, I think we need some bet, not better, interi better interior linemen. We're good on the edge. Better secondary. Harrison Smith's got to go. I love him, but it's time for him to be done. We do have a lot of aging players on defense, so yeah, for sure. Yeah, we do, man. Uh, Kirk Cousins' last play of this season was a three-yard out to T.J. Hawkinson. You know, would you like to blame that on Kirk, the coaching, or would you like to die with you know throwing to Justin Jefferson down the field? Well. I I don't know. That whole thing was kind of bullshit, if you ask me. At the end of the play, you got to get it to your playmaker. MVP candidate, you know, you got to get it in his hands. No diss on Hawkinson, but a three yard out route, like, come on. I would love to absolutely die with Justin Jefferson. If I'm going to lose, I would love to lose going to Justin Jefferson. 100%. Beyond the sticks, too, man. 100%. So, thank you for your time. All right, this is Najib with MM Fan TV. Who am I here with? Will. Would you like to tell me how you're feeling about what just happened in that game? I think the better football team did not win tonight. I think we just didn't play like we should have, didn't execute, and the final score shows it. What do you like to say about Kirk Cousins throwing that three yard out to TJ Hawkinson? You can't put it all on Kirk because the whole game, like we couldn't get a lot going, especially with the run game. So like you, at the end of the day, it can't all come down on Kirk. It has to come down as a team because it's a team sport, you know? I understand, I understand. What would you like to see differently? You know, our defense, I know that was a very big problem for us this season and this game especially. So what would you like to see anything different or maybe our defensive coordinator do or leave maybe or our players? All I'd like to see is us executing when we really have to, like in clutch moments and playoff moments. That's all I want to see. I understand, I understand, man. Thank you for your time, man. This is Najib with MN Fan TV. Who am I here with? With uh, Blair, aka Old Hayes. My name is Marshall. Mario, aka. How would you guys like to explain what just happened or tell me your feelings about what just happened in this game? I mean, first off, man, we can't make a stop to save our life. Well, almost 500 total yards of offense. Saquon's open in the flat 25 times, no one within 10, 15 yards of him. No, no halftime adjustments, no, no sideline adjustments on it. And then, you know, the end of the game, that fourth and eight, we throw the ball three yards. It's fourth and eight. It's fourth and eight. We got to throw the ball at least eight yards, minimum. I mean, come on, man. What, what, what else? I, what else are we supposed to say or do? I mean, come on. Oh, what, what are your thoughts? Um, well, I mean, I got super sauced in the first half, fell asleep. He uh, took care of me. I got sober in the second half. Uh, we drove down the field, scored, but like he said, like Old Hayes said, we got to got at least throw the ball eight yards to get a first down. Like, come on now. Like, Saquon lit us up the whole game. No adjustments? Come on now. What would you guys like to see different going forward into the next season? Maybe our defense, our, our defensive coordinator, some defensive players? 100% just need to make moves on the defense. We have a top five offense, best receiver in the league. I think Kirk Cousins, I mean, people talk, talk about Kirk Cousins all the time. Like he's not elite. Top, he's a top seven, top 10, 4,500 yards, 30 scores. I mean, I know he had a career high in picks, but I mean, he threw for a franchise record for passing attempts this year, so of course the picks are going up, but we just need to make some adjustments to the defense, start making plays on defense, and then we'll actually win games like this. Our offense, our offense isn't in question. Did that last play that Kirk threw for three yards, does that 
does that shake you up or like does that like have you have doubts about Kirk going going on to the future? I don't think that has anything to do with Kirk. I think that all has to do with play calling. It's a hundred percent play calling on that. He's not he's not making that call. You know, whoever I don't know if it's O'Connell or OC or who's the one that says, hey, let's you know throw three yards. And where was Jefferson in the second half? Where where's the where's the best receiver in the game in the second half? At least at least he's gotta have five, ten targets in the second half. They gotta look to get our best player the ball. Hawkinson played a hell of a game. But where was Thielen? Osborne, I think Osborne had one catch, two two catches. He had the touchdown. It was nice, but Jefferson disappeared, man. I mean, I think Moss would have Moss wouldn't have disappeared like that. And I hear that. I hear all the talk all the time. Jefferson's going to be better than Moss. Moss would have showed out. Jefferson didn't do a thing. Do you blame that on Jefferson, or do you blame that on the coach for not you coaching? Know, Coach Coaching 100 percent. Like, yeah. honestly, Jefferson's the best wide receiver in the game. I don't care what everybody says about Tyree Kill, but Jefferson's the best player in the game. Uh, it's all coaching. Like, maybe get some slants in, some checkdowns, some screens, whatnot. But like he said, like Old Hayes said, Moss, man. Like, yeah, we're rep we're representing the same damn jersey. Like, Moss, man. He's not. He's not fading away. He's going for that. Like, like he said in that interview, that W thrown down on Lambo, man. He's scoring. 100 yards, whatnot. Yeah, I'll just put it this way. If you don't get Jefferson, you get Moss. Moss, Moss shows out. Moss makes a play. Moss does something. I don't care if it's double, triple coverage. And we got to, they didn't even look for Jefferson. It's like they were shying away because every obviously the teams no, are going to key no, on him. The Eagles, been, of course, of course they're going to key on him. But he, when you're supposed to be that great, everybody knows you're getting the ball. The Eagles are going to fuck y'all. They did, you know, obviously throw doubles and triple teams on Jefferson. But me personally, I would like to find ways. If, if the ball can't go deep on Jefferson, he has to get touches. I have to, if I was to lose, I would die with Jefferson, you know, going for like 150 plus. Thank you for bringing that point up. I don't think we stretched the field at all. We took, what, one, one deep shot over 30 yards? That's what I'm saying. It's like my high school again, like running me on fourth and twelve. Like, like we need to throw that ball deep to our best receiver who's running a four or five. Jefferson's not running a four or five. He's fast or whatnot. But I'm just saying we gotta stretch that field. It's just all coaching, man. You know what I mean? Hopefully we change some things up in this offseason, man. Thank you for your time. For sure, man.